Hey, what's happening guys? Happy Easter. Today we are going to make an Arduino sound meter that is calibrated for decibels. And one of the pieces of equipment that we're going to need to do that is this little guy right here. And this is an electric microphone from Adafruit. You can see it has three pins out, ground, and VCC. And on the back side, it has a built in adjustable amplifier, which can be adjusted with this little pot right here. So let's put that back in. Now to display our uh, sound level, we're using this 1.3 inch OLED display, which is hooked up via SPI and through soft SPI through pins nine through 13. And then our only other connection to the Arduino is the output of our microphone, which comes over here to pin A0. Now what this is going to do is the microphone is going to take a 50 millisec millisecond sampling of the sound, display the calculated decibels reading here on the screen, and a bar graph. So how am I getting the calculated decibels? Well, I'm using this meter which has a decibel range. Now, if I sit here and shut my mouth for a second, we can see that 49.4 is the quietest the room gets. And then I yelled a few times and I got to a maximum decibel reading of 90. So 49.4 at our lowest and 90 at our highest. Those are how we're going to adjust our meter. So let's go take a look at the code. So here's the code for the Arduino sound meter. We've got three libraries. The SPI library for the OLED display. The Adafruit graphics also for the OLED display. And the Adafruit SH1106, again, for the OLED. Now we're using the soft SPI here, so we are defining our pins for MOSI, clock, DC, and chip select, and also reset. Now we're going to create an instance of the Adafruit SH1106 called display with the arguments for those pins we just described above. Couple global variables, sample window 50, and an unsigned integer called sample. Now in our setup we have serial begin 9600 for debugging and the rest is just a little bit of display setup. Now we just print a little splash screen saying Arduino is a sound meter. Now in the main loop of our program we have a couple more variables. An unsigned long called start millies which is equal to millis, a float called peak to peak, which we're setting as zero, an unsigned integer called signal max, which is our maximum value, and an unsigned integer called signal min, which is our minimum value. And you can see I swapped those over here because uh, I obviously wasn't thinking clearly. Now, here's a while statement. So we say while millis is less while millis minus start millis is less than our sample window. And what that is saying is for 50 milliseconds, we're going to create, or we are going to define the sample variable with the analog read. And then we're going to toss out any readings that are above or below our minimum and maximum. If they're not, then we're going to record the peak values. So if sample is greater than signal max, 
signal max equals sample. And if it's less than signal min, signal min equals sample. Then we're going to get our peak to peak value by subtracting signal minimum from signal maximum. Then we're going to calibrate for decibels. We did this by using a decibel meter and just matching up the numbers. So float decibel equal map peak to peak min 20 input max 900 input minimum 49.5 output and that's the quietest it is here in my room and a maximum of 90 which was the loudest noise I could make. We're going to put the cursor in the upper left hand corner set our text size to 2 write our calculated decibel value to the buffer write the units to the buffer then we're going to draw a little scale for our bar graph for integer x equals 5 x less than 114 x equals x plus 6 that's going to draw us what 19 uh, scale marks on our bar graph display draw line x position y position start with height and color that's our outline or no, that's our line oh those are our lines oops then we're going to draw our outline x start y start with height curve and color then we're going to map this value called r to our decibels with a minimum of zero decibels a maximum of 120 to the width of the screen then we draw our bar graph display dot filled round rectangle x start y start width of r which is our mapped value height of 18 curve of 6 color white then we display everything that we just showed, uh, wrote to the buffer and then we clear it and we are back to the beginning let's check it out in action all right let's power it up and have a look so here we are with our Arduino sound meter and you can see as I'm talking, we are getting around 60, 58 through 60 uh, decibels here. And if I tap the microphone, you can see that the meter ramps up and down. Let's see if I, yeah, if I blow on it, I can completely max it out. So there we have it. Now it's not quite as sensitive as the meter on that digital meter but it is here and it works and it's pretty cool and i hope you guys like it if you did give me a thumbs up comment share and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you next time